Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Another episode to lure hunting. Another episode of lure hunting. Um, same spot this time from Lakewood Lake that we had pretty much good success last time. So we'll start from this spot. As you can see, there are a lot of bushes and there is like a lot of places where people can get snagged and can even lose their lures. So we're gonna start here and see what we can find it's still windy doesn't matter we're out here and just walking by the bank and boom as you can see you can find stuff like that which is pretty pretty awesome it's beaten up but a crankbait still gonna make it work two hooks and some cleaning and you're good to go there you go cool find another awesome find just along the bank as always uh, pockets that the water keep pushing the lures into this one is like barely visible but it's a top water it's pretty good condition it's pretty cute actually <laughs> I like this one. This the second set of hook is rusty. Yeah, the hooks re need replacement, but awesome find. So this time we broke the law. We crossed out the fence that stopped us last time. And I came to this part here. It's dirty, it's nasty, it has but the water like seems to push around here and get stuck so if you're gonna find a lure you're gonna find it right here and look right there oh that's a huge crankbait no hooks uh, the paint job started to fade but it's a giant chunk cool find I couldn't find any lures in this side of the of the lake but I found this small zipco with the reel it's brand new you can see that the, the box and the rig is just there somebody must have been fishing and got frustrated or left it here but the line is broken and it was like just sit in there cool find after walking a long distance no lures i could see this beaten up uh, plastic or hook or whatever piece of worm i don't know it's beaten up so it's not a it's just the hook that is worth it yeah, the wind started to pick up really ugly i'll probably gonna cut this short i don't want to get wet and come into his to this nasty pocket between the bushes as you can see i see uh, i think it's a lure it's a weird lure it's a top water Oop. it's a frog some sort nice cool find sure if you can see that guys but that looks that red dot or red circle looks like a top one wow. and to cross is like really bugging me I don't want to get wet I try to get it in here. I'm fine so come into this bucket again after that top water 
and I see a nice crankbait. Uh, I don't know if you can see it now. It's a shed representation. I don't see the hooks. Probably he was stuck on the bottom. The hooks got rusted and then got freed. But I can still see it stuck. It's a little bit far. Well, let's try and get it. Uh, the hooks are there. It was just floating. No brand name. Still a cool deep diver. Awesome. Find. I think I'm gonna wrap it up with this last lure. It's floating. It doesn't look that it's having hooks. But let's see. It's hard to access it. Probably I need a, a wood stick or something. Okay. Let's try. Crusty. Hooks are almost gone. Still, cool find. So, so just after I finding this crusty one, and I was like wrapping it up, I see another floating one. If you can see it, try to zoom in. It's just like floating there. No hooks. Probably they get stuck on the bottom of the lake. The hooks rusted out and they get freed up and they end up here with the current of the wind. Still, it's an awesome find. Look at this, it has the hooks too. Uh, that's the brand. Fritzide, Berkeley. Awesome. Yeah, welcome guys. We're back home and we're gonna end this video but after cleaning the crankbaits. Um, I'll show you what I have gathered yesterday. Here they are guys. All the fountain of yesterday. Not much. Didn't spend like two hours and um, this big crankbait um, a sunfish or a bluegill representation it needs some painting so probably a project I have never painted crankbait but at some point I need to start doing that um, I've seen some videos and it's cool to like revive it and dip it in epoxy and give it a new breath of life this one hooks are missing excite it's a pretty good crankbait um the lip is straight down so probably it's not it's for the movement it's not diving deep this one it's a deep diver no brand still a cool find this was the last one i found um it's a berkeley Fred side seven. I like it. It's brand new. The hooks are still sharp, as you can see. They they really uh they really stick. This one without the hook is like the miniature representation of this one. Side two. This top water is handmade. It's a piece of wood, and it's handmade. So I like the the old style of it, and I like it. Um, I didn't wanna over clean it so that it doesn't lose um, the initial painting but probably after some usage um, I need to paint it and this cool looking top water I don't know what it is it's written Hila proper I can't read it here I don't know 2.0 
Hela something. Hilarious. <laughs> but I like it. I'll, I'll be trying this, this one as soon as possible. I had, as you can see on the video, I had uh, White Frog. I liked the uh, Excite White Frog. Um, it had it had good hooks, uh, no tail, but I lost it somehow. Hilarious again. I put it in my pocket or something and it fell or I don't know what happened to it. That was it for the video. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe. All the blah, blah, blah. I mean, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell. That will help. Um, also, I'll be doing some fishing soon. I'm just waiting for uh, my chest to clear. I was like sick, so see you soon in a new video. Either fishing or lure hunting. Let me know in the comment which one do you like most.